I am sending this very early, but I would love to hear the crew's take on the Grubhub recently being overrun by hungry New Yorkers for a free lunch promotion. Oh, my God. I yes. don't even hear about this. So essentially, um, let me see if I can find this thread on this. Uh, it was like a few days back, but I, I know enough about it to kind of talk about it briefly. Um, so Grubhub essentially had a uh, in New York City, I think, a promotion for $15 off of lunch if you order between 11 and 2 p.m. Um, the problem is when you put a time limit on it. That means that people are going to rush and like be like, oh, I'm better take advantage of this. And they didn't inform the restaurants of this promotion <laughs> beforehand because they were the ones offering the fifteen dollars off. So there were reports of uh, basically people, uh, the delivery drivers and the restaurant workers in tears because they were unable to fulfill this massive influx of orders that were was offered by Grubhub without the knowledge of the restaurants. And it, um, and of course. Everybody knows what the problem is, right? It ends up ma it ends up making the restaurants look bad. Right. So I'm sure that they're going to get like uh, one star reviews, maybe low tips for the delivery drivers you because could... it ends up uh, coming late. I'm looking for the pictures, but like it's just like receipts, just completely covering the um, like countertops that are yes. like of orders that are meant to be going out. Well, and it's, and it's, it's not like restaurants have had a hard time with COVID, and uh, people in the restaurant business are trying to stay. Alive. And it just shows how ridiculous our sort Here's of venture. Thread capital economy is that, yes. that because this is all just money that they can burn to try to gather up market share through this exactly. promotion exactly 100% um so frankly i think these uh restaurants would have a case for a class action uh lawsuit against grubhub here it is today and this was uh may 17th um if we could just put that up. Grubhub offered $15 off customer or orders from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. in New York City, which got thousands of customers to order free meals within that time window. The issue, they didn't tell the restaurants and delivery drive, uh, workers they were doing this. Giving folks $15 off is great, but it's a serious problem when you time limit it because that means you're forcing users to all order at the same time. Take a moment to consider why this might not be a good thing, especially if understaffed restaurants aren't made aware. Because of the pandemic, restaurants oh have been understaffed and fulfilling large quantities of orders has already been difficult. Imagine this being amplified by thousands of people getting a free meal deal that they have to use today. This is the result. Because orders under $15 are fully covered, that's free food coming not from Grubhub, but many local small restaurants, restaurants who themselves can't fulfill that quantity of orders. These restaurants don't, didn't consent to the deal. Many aren't equipped to fulfill this many orders. On top of that, all the orders need to be delivered. There's just no way for this quantity of orders to be delivered. So what happens? Restaurants make a ton of food that doesn't get picked up, resulting in tons of food and labor waste, etc. And who gets blamed at, for it at the end of the day? The restaurants. I work through the restaurant. Blah, 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 blah. Basically, so you, you guys get the gist. Um, so yeah, I, if, frankly, uh, the. I don't understand why there aren't more legal protections for restaurants in this case. The fact that Grubhub can just impose that on them makes zero sense. But two, I just want to point out, there was one of the best long form pieces I've read in like over a year was that either Curbed or New York Magazine piece where they follow delivery drivers in New York City and how dangerous um, and scary it is for delivery drivers who have zero protections to, uh, you know, on these electronic bikes, go in between traffic and try to get these orders to people on time. Um, and I like ordering food. I get it. But I've tried to limit it recently based on that piece. And imagining these workers who are provided zero protection in terms of health care benefits, yep. um, being forced to make these orders uh, during this time. This is an extreme case, but it happens all the time. I all think, the time. I think that piece is uh, Revolt of the Delivery Workers yes. by Josh Cieza in The Verge. Mm -hmm. If anyone the wants to yeah. that, check Did that I out. Did I say Curbed? What, I don't no, know there's I a lot of coverage in Curbed also, so I, I understand. Yeah. But yeah, this, this piece, I think, in particular was the one from The yes. Verge. Yes. Check that out.